Virgo and welcome to Lena Mystic. I am so happy to see you today and I hope you enjoy this video because I've got some great news for you. Let's dive into this reading. Starting with the Six of Pentacles, I see someone really helping you this week. Whatever it is, maybe financially or teaching you a lesson, I see just help and guidance from someone this week and I see you working pretty well with someone as well. I see you working very well with someone as well. With the Four of Cups, I'm seeing that you're going to be working well with yourself too. And this is such a great thing because so many great ideas are going to be flourishing in your mind. And you're going to start burning some roots and placing, you know, your thoughts all over the place. Basically like planting seeds all over the place. And this is such an amazing thing, especially for you that are entrepreneurs. This is, this is such a blessing. <laughs> That's my son in the background. If you've been having a lot of trials lately, the Nine of Swords Reverse is telling me that those trials are coming to an end for now and you're starting a new cycle. And that's such a great thing because you've learned so much from the past and that's basically like the, the energy of your reading. You've learned so much lately. And I know you're probably like, oh my goodness, so many lessons have been coming into my life and I'm just glad that I've learned, you know? And I'm proud of you for learning as much as you've been through. I'm sure you've learned a lot and I see you using those lessons to progress in your life. Since I'm, ta <laughs> since, <laughs> since I'm talking so fast during this reading, I feel a sense of slowing down and really reminiscing and reflecting, especially with Mercury in retrograde. I see that it'll be great for you to reflect and set intention with the Magician in the Eight of Cups. I see you setting intention and letting it manifest. I see something that you've been manifesting for, uh, I'm seeing the number eight um, and the number six for you, something that you've been manifesting coming into fruition. And it's going to be such a great blessing for you because you, it, it may seem small, and for some of you it's pretty big for you, but it's going to be a big change that's being brought into your life. Such a beautiful blessing. I see someone reaching out to you in an email maybe, this could be a job, this could be an ex, this could be, I don't know. But I see emails, I see a text, something saying, wow, yay, I'm happy about this. Like something where you're going to be really, really happy about it. So look out for those emails and those texts this week and make sure you're in Mercury Retrograde, you're rereading every email, every text that you're sending. Be careful about that. The Six of Cups tells me that you may be bonding with siblings or family at this time or a kid if you have a kid. And I see that things are going to be flowing pretty smoothly. I also see a reflection on childhood memories, connecting with a childhood friend maybe or a child, childhood, uh, you know, someone you saw as a soulmate or a crush. I see you really reflecting on a lot of memories and a lot of past things this week, especially with meditating or practicing mindfulness with the Four of Cups and connecting with your inner self. And with the Nine of Swords being reversed, this really tells me that you're going through a healing period where that cycle has come to an end, which may which may represent why I'm seeing the number eight. It's kind of about cycles and how they work and you know, all of that good stuff. And I just see things really looking good for you for this, this next week. And you working pretty well with yourself and with others and connecting to spirit as well. I am so happy that you're gonna have this amazing week. Make sure to look at it on the right side because you've learned so much, you know? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below for your girl, and I'll see you in another video.